Hellcat owner we'll wore stories when he almost died. Video, so I promise y'all that I'm gonna start giving y'all war stories, part one, part two, and so forth, right? So in this video right here, we're gonna talk when I almost got hit with a grenade. Not once, not twice, but three times. So this picture right here was me in the market right here. So, you know, the market where they sell everything, meat, fucking donkey, whatever the fuck, right? So usually what we do, usually patrol, we have an AO. So AO is, um, is you know, is our area of operations where we operate, whatever, right? So sometimes we patrol the market. Sometimes we take another route and we still come through the market, right? Um, that afternoon, we was patrolling this market right here, this particular market right here. And we took a stop. We stopped for a little bit. The LT was talking to the locals, whatever the hell he be doing, right? Um... In this picture right here, I was a team leader in that picture. So I had like typically like three guys under me, a saw gunner, a two or three gunner, and a rifleman, right? And myself, I was carrying a two or three. And um, right right here, right before this picture, well, right after this picture was taken, um, I took a knee, you know, um, you know, watching around, whatever. My saw gunner, he was tired as fuck. You know, he was tired. He's like, hey, Sarge, you know, I'm going to go in the shade right here, take a knee, and pull security down the alley. I said, all right, cool, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? And my other guy, he was pulling security facing the other way. You know what I mean? And there was a big-ass wall. Man, I'm sitting right there. My two or three, um, my saw gunner is telling me, hey, Sarge, somebody's throwing fucking rocks. I'm like, you know, don't shoot them. Just, you know, watch them. The kids always throw rocks, right? Whatever the fuck. The whole time, the shit that dropped in the water, it was a, sh a little stream running right through us, right? A little stream coming from the mountains. When the shit dropped in the water, he thought the kids were throwing rocks. But literally, it was a fucking grenade that came over the wall and fell into the fucking water. It was one of the fucking um, Chinese pineapple grenades, fucking garbage-ass grenades. So, you know, I'm not paying attention. I'm thinking the fucking shit is coming from the alleyway where the kids was at, right? They threw another one. The second one, they threw it. This shit dropped right next to me. No bullshit. The grenade dropped right next to me. Like, literally, I would say about, like, uh, probably about eight meters away from me. Shit blew up. Fucking shrapnel hit me all in my arms. It kicked up a whole bunch of dust and everything. Freak the fuck out. You know what I mean? After they threw the second one, they threw a third one. What right after that? Blew up in the road again. Immediately we start, we didn't know where the fuck it was coming from. Honestly, at the time, everything is going crazy. The bomb blew up. Everybody is fucking shaky. Everybody, blood is boiling. Everybody's on edge. You know what I'm saying? So we just fucking, we just opened fire, you know what I'm saying, to the direction we thought it was coming from. The whole fucking time, these guys are tossing grenade over the fucking wall, and we didn't even fucking know it. So we kind of fall back. We kind of fall back with um, uh, Alpha Team, and we kind of make like a perimeter across the street on the other side so we could see what the fuck's going on. And, um, you know, I had shrapnel. My whole fucking right side was burning because, you know, the shit blew up right next to me. You know, garbage-ass grenade threw shrapnel and everything. And um, we we would end up going across the street on, the, on a fucking piece of shit house on the roof, pulling security, and we send the a and which is the Afghanistan army, which they garbage as fuck. We send them across the street to investigate what the fuck's going on, right? Better them than us. Better them get killed first than us, right? Because it's their country. We trying to hand the country over to them, right? So they got to fucking know what to do. Shit like that, right? So they went over there and how we figured out that the grenade was coming over the wall, they found the spoons of the grenade on the other side of the wall. So the Taliban was on the other side of the wall tossing grenade at my ass, trying to blow my ass up. And that was that, man. And that day was fucked up because, I mean, I'm being calm about it right now because it's been like, what, fucking 12 years ago. But, you know, that day I was fucking, it freaked me the fuck out completely because that grenade could have killed me. It could have killed one of my guys. I could have lost a limb. I could have lost an eye. I could have lost any body parts of my body. I could have fucking died, right? So a lot of guys been asking me, you know, is it good to join the army? I'm about to join the army. So I'm just going to start telling you all a lot of war stories and just telling you all the real about the army. I've been out of the army for a while now, but when I was in the army, it was 
when the war was going on. It was when they were doing the search to Iraq and the search to Afghanistan. I've been to Iraq one time and I've been to Afghanistan twice. So I was in that motherfucker when he was coming home, trained for a year, and you right back downrange again. So I don't know how the army is now. I can't tell you how it is now, but I could tell you how the army was before. And I've been out since 2015, so it couldn't change that much. But that's that for this story. Let me know what y'all think about that story and comment. Follow me. I'm going to give y'all, all, all the guys that is going to join the army, one more information. I'm going to keep putting a lot more information on my, um, on my TikTok. Peace out.